you're back now with David Goldstein of Biltmore Loan, and he has brought in a sampling of items. They are going to be uh, auctioned off this weekend, a big estate sale that he's having uh, this weekend. You don't want to miss it. The excitement is building, and you've brought some items, uh, some photos that we're going to be seeing out there that we could actually purchase. When I say that we have unusual things, it's not like the average person saying that because what I think is unusual is really unusual. <laughs> what I think is uh, really unusual is almost mm, eclectic. Mind blowing, right, or, right. or eclectic. So we're going to have a 10,000 square foot tent and a great area for you to come out and see. We're going to have so many interesting things. I mean, you see us talk all the time about Tiffany and Cartier and Van Cleef and And that's going to be there too. And there'll be some of those pieces there. But this is come and get your bargains. Look at this. Look at these antique old barn doors that you're looking at. Um, they are just fantastic. I mean, we have about 12 sets of these and these are huge and they're so big with decorators today. There's some great old jail doors there. So if you're a do it yourself or you're a decorator, boy, what a great time to come out. Look at this. And they're going to go. That's awesome. Here, too. come on. <laughs> come on. You just saw the great, great tap dancing. Now just remember the great, great shave and haircut in the 1950s. There it is, an original 1950s antique barber chair. And I'm telling you, it's going to go for pennies on the dollar. Look at this, a oh, 1960s. Isn't that great? A 1960s, the ride outside the supermarket. Mm -hmm. You're probably too young, Susan. No, you of course. That? Well, it wasn't wood when I was on it. It right. was something a lot cheaper. Maybe, cheaper's. maybe. I have a viewer or two out there that remembers yes, the 60s. It's gorgeous. And remembers you put a nickel in that and you could ride it. Look at this, an old 1950s porcelain sign. That's porcelain on one side. They're highly collectible. You have the old 1950s neon hamburger sign there, which is, these are just so collectible. Restaurants buy them, shabby chic. This is one of my favorites. Look at this, an old wheelbarrow all done in oak with the original oak wheels. Those wheels are all done in wood. That so is if you're gorgeous. looking for like the eclectic, unusual things, these are going to go. And I mean they're going to go. They're not going to be there on Sunday. So if you want to come by and visit us any day this week till 5 o'clock at the address that we're going to put at the end, or you can go to BiltmoreLoan.com and see where we're going to be. If you come out and you come out and say hello to me, <laughs> I promise you, you're going home with something. Well, it's so cool because I, I, I went out to the warehouse and I was telling you, how did you collect all of these unusual pieces? Because that's just a sampling. It, there's it, so it, much it, more. There's thousands. It is thousands. Yeah. I mean, it goes to the rafters, literally. How did you get your hands on all it of these? It was three entire estate mansions that were in the Biltmore where somebody needed to move and they and we bought the entire contents of Got it. it. And we've auctioned off a lot of it in the, in the past and now we want to put it out to our people to let them buy it before the auction so they could come out and just kind of view and have some fun with and it. And this is the these are the items that we're used to seeing you do and those are going to be um, up for sale as well. There'll, there'll be some pieces out there in jewelry and handbags but these the, the reason I show this week after week is because if, if you have a fine piece of jewelry, a mm -hmm. fine piece of art, a fine antique piece, and you've always wondered what it's worth and what it may really, really, really be worth, native jewelry is one of our strongest suits as well. But if you have a Van Cleef, a Tiffany, a Cartier, and you really were thinking you might want to sell it, a David Webb, I am an expert. I am an expert in this area, and I love being able and to tell good news to you somebody. You and your team go really go the extra mile to make sure that the person walks away, whether it be good news or bad news, because you give both. I uh, always say I cannot always bear the best news, but I promise you I'll bear you the truth. That's right. And you know, this you were, you talked about in the first uh, segment, how the owners of th these this pieces, was yeah, th they were told it was something much more inexpensive. Most people are not as well versed as me. Most people are not as passionate as me. And most people don't have the, the love and desire. So if you have something antique or you have something fine in a fine quality going anywhere, but without getting a, an offer from Biltmore, I truly say this from my heart, I don't think you're getting enough. Why do you do this? Because I love it. I love it. I've never worked a day in my life. I'm, I'm the luckiest guy alive. I was yeah. just telling the story to somebody as we were sitting on the side that yeah, I wasn't much of a student, but I loved jewelry even when I was young at 15 years old when I was in high school I had a store here in Saguaro High School selling native jewelry. You're not a student but you're a teacher of treasures I can tell you that. I'm a teacher for <laughs> sure. All right let's give you some information so the big first 
annual estate sale. It is coming to you today through Saturday. It's going to go from 9 o'clock until 5 p.m. You can get a preview of those items. The auction is happening Sunday. It's at 1 o'clock. Registration begins at noon, and here's where you can find that warehouse. It is at 3125 52nd Street in Tempe. That is just south of the Tempe Diablo Stadium. For more information, call 480-991-5626 or go to BiltmoreLoan.com.